So now today we'll talk about the debugging tools. Um, so for the SAP UI5 have their own uh, debugging tool. But I believe that actually debugging and finding issues depends on the skill and your how you can uh, check easily there's everything is matter as well um, and sometimes you can use like other tool uh, that is the also another tool that is um, Google Chrome debugger which you put the S, um, F12 uh, but I, today I will show you that how you can use that their SAP UI 5 debugger so you may have that hundred of cases like for the debugging and error but i will create a simple issues and i will show you how you can fix that so for example you can see that is data is coming here and it is the extended price but what i will do i will just change it here so now um, if we refresh here you can say that all price is gone so how you can debug this so one way is that you can identify and you can find it how this value is showing here and what is the value is depending for that price but here also another tool that is ui5 so if you just press the control alt shift s then their uh, debugging tool is um, appear so this technical information control tree so that you have to like um you have to use your you have to create and you you have to start your own uh, debugging process to make it expert on that uh, but this what I generate that error uh, like price is gone so if we uh, just press on that control tree and I know that is the object list item so here we can check everything like that how it is the title value is there and you can go next you can explore but like if we press on the data uh, binding information you can check here so now you can see that is it is red and it is invalid so that is a good tool uh, for your first hand to find out any issues so now if I go there um, like if I go there and is and just remove one come here and everything is fine so this tool you can explore yourself um, to know better and another that is the F12 and that is also a good tool for the debugging purpose like I use a lot here so like the source network performance you can do everything from here and you can also use that uh, console.log to check w what is loading or not so that's all for this video and I will continue with the routing and navigation which is the very important part and I will discuss in details thank you